So now let us see the last set manipulation operator that is difference. Okay. So this difference is actually a uh, whatever we seen in the set theory. So mathematically, whatever meaning is there. Even here also same meaning like the union and intersection. So what does it mean? Let us try to understand simply. Uh, if you have a two relations R1 and R2, okay, you are going to select the all rows from the R1, but uh, the rows which are not present in R2 actually. That is what meaning of uh, difference in the set difference in the set theory, right? So here also meaning is same. So to get the more clarity, let us just take a same set of tables and their data also like this. Now, what we will do is, let us have a one simple query that find the names of the customers who have loan but not account. They must have loan and uh, that person should not have an account actually. So you see D, if you take D have a loan but don't have an account. So such a persons we need. And B have account, a loan as well as account also. So B should not come in the result. That is what only loan, not a account actually. So that is what if you see, this is the account if you take, and this is the loan if you take. We need only loan persons, these persons required, who are in common that you have to skip. Only loan, but not account. So common part you have to skip from the loan actually. So the how and all you will write. So first who, who, so first query is what actually? So the first query must be loan one. So select the customer names from the borrower. So that is what we are selecting only customer names. That is what uh, uh, customer names. From the table borrower. <coughs> Yes, so this is giving what actually, if you see uh, D, B, C, E is the output from this. Now select the depositors also. So select the only depositor names, that is customer name, but this time this is from depositor. So this is the depositor, yes. So this is returning what actually you can observe. So that is A, B, C, and F. Now, actually we need only the, this is not the final result, right? We need the result only loan customer names, whoever have loan, but not an account. That is why upon these two relations, you apply set difference operator minus. Then what is going to happen? So the result is, so the result is if you apply minus in these two sets, D is there, but D is not there in this result. So D must be in the output. B here and here there, that is what common part you have to skip. B should not return. C also in both there, but E not there in this. So you return G. So that is what the actual output if you see. So if you see the output, customer name, customer name, who is coming? D and E actually. And here also it must satisfy those rules actually. Number of attributes here and number of, uh, see order of the number of attributes in the projection here and here must be same and their domains must be correspondingly same. Okay. And uh, uh, for example, so the, first of all, this is what the set difference. Now we are changing this, uh, this query little actually. We are just writing oppositely. We need account persons, but not loan. So what is going to happen that you can see? The persons who have account, but not loan actually. So this time, this is the account and this is the loan. Now this time we need these persons who have account, they should not have loan actually. So first you have to select the data from the account actually. Whatever required output, that from that relation you would select the data first. 
So that must be the first one. So that is why pi of customer name. And uh, this is this data is from depositor actually. So this is from the depositor. So this is returning what actually? A, B, C, F. And then what else we need actually? Borrower customer names also required. So that is what here customer name. This is from borrower. So borrow. So here we are getting the result that is D, B, C, E. Now, upon these two results, if you apply the difference operator minus, then what is going to happen result? So result is A is not there in this. Only A have only account, not loan. B have loan and account. C have loan and account. But F have account, but not loan. So that is what here output. So here the customer name, what it is returning actually? A and F. So A and F have low account, but not loan actually. So that is why this order is also matter actually. If you, if you bring this first relation to here and here, output is going to change. So these things, see these things, you are subtracting from this actually. So that is why relation R1, relation R2, or relation R2, R1, both the results are different. So it is commutative is not applicable on this set difference operator. On union is commutative, intersection is also commutative, but the set difference is not commutative. What does it mean? R1 minus R2 is not equal to R2 minus R1. So order of operands is matter actually. Both of the result, both results are not same actually. So this is what just try to understand that when you have to apply the difference, set difference operator. If you need only specific data from one relation, which is not going to have in another relation. So in such a way, you can apply in both actually. Okay.